If you're in Inkscape and you're using the text feature, there's two really cool and very easy techniques you can use. One is to create a kiss cut around the word happy, and the other one is to create a fill inside the word birthday. Easy, easy to do. Let's go. If you've never used Inkscape before, then you absolutely need to go to inkscape.org and it's a free download. This is professional vector graphics software that's completely free and it works similar to Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so I'm in Inkscape right now and there's a bunch of menu items along the left and along the top and along the right. Don't get intimidated by that. What we're gonna be using today is this little text icon over on the left hand side. So you're gonna click that little A and then you're gonna type some sort of text into the page. So I'm just gonna type, for example, happy uh, birthday. So I'm gonna type happy, and then I'm going to type birthday. So now I've got two little text designs sitting here, and these are not vectors at this point, they're text. So I could change this now if I want by clicking the little A icon, clicking inside one of the two boxes, and I could then change the text if I want. So it's true text. So one thing that's popular on sites like Redbubble or T Public is this idea of kiss cut around the stick around the design if you're making a sticker for example. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to use the birthday here as our background and I, before we get started I'm just going to go to file document properties and I'm just going to make the background transparent. And so you do that just in this document properties window. You can do a checkerboard background down at the bottom. So when I do that it's just gonna show me now, if we have any white on the screen, it'll be a little bit easier to see. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to use, I'm gonna start with happy. This will be the, the design that I'm gonna use. And what I wanna do is draw an outline around happy. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is go up to path and I'm going to go to linked offset. Now, when I do that, it actually takes a copy of the picture. So in this case, the text. And there's a one little tiny slider that just sits here on the word happy. It's the only little slider. I'm gonna actually zoom in so you can see it. See that little tiny diamond right above the H. Now I'm gonna change, it's actually a, a copy by the way. It's actually, it's actually a copy of happy. So you can see it's actually a secondary copy. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that, undo my move, undo. So now I've got my secondary copy sitting there. And I'm just gonna create, say, white. Okay, now you can, so now I've got a copy, a white copy and a black copy, okay? I'm gonna put it right on top. Now, if you just want to create a copy, that's easy. You can just move it over. You can just do that. And now it says happy. If you want to move the white layer underneath the black layer, you just click page down and that'll just move it. So now you've got the white layer underneath. It's a bit tough to see. So I'm actually just going to make the white layer pink just so we can see it. But if you wanted to move the black now underneath, it's page down. If you want to move the pink layer underneath, select it and page down. Or you can do page up. Either one works. Okay, so I'm gonna remove now the pink layer and I'm gonna show you how to do a kiss cut using that same technique. So I've got happy now selected. I'm going to go to path, linked offset. Now that makes a copy of this. I'm going to click the little pink and now I can move this little slider that's right above the H. I can move it up or I can move it down. So if I move it up, it creates a kiss cut around the sticker. So you can make it as large. See how the P has little holes in it there? You can actually get rid of those. So I could do that, for example, and now that could be my design for a sticker or a t-shirt design or a coffee mug. It's around, it's not just a straight you know, text 
with a straight background, it's I've got the background sort of bumped around it like a balloon. So that's one option. For birthday, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm actually going to go the opposite way. I'm actually going to put this kiss cut inside birthday. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go path, linked offset. I'm going to pick the same color. And then now I'm looking for that little tiny diamond and you'll see it sitting here above the H. And there's only one, so you kind of have to look for it. Now in this case, I'm actually going to go less and I'm going to click page up to make sure that it's visible. So using that slider, I can make it larger or smaller. I'm just going up and down with my mouse. That's it. So I can actually make it now filled. And if and if you're having trouble with the specificity of it, you can just zoom in and you can make it as, you know, accurate as you want. So on the top one, just to recap, I made the pink layer larger than the word happy and down below under birthday, I made the pink less size, but it scales everything correctly inside the letters itself. It's a really cool feature and really easy to do. And now I could save this as an SVG, I could export it to a PNG, whatever I need to do. It's a really nice, easy technique if you want to make some sort of a text illustration without spending a ton of time or energy on it. So I hope you found that helpful. Nice little tip there in Inkscape.